That was a whopper plopper. And let me tell you, it catches muskies. I want to show you how to make one and a basic idea how you can make all kinds of different lures that you need high strength on the outside but great points on the inside. Any lure that you start out with, it's best to use a through the shaft or through the body, I should say, hook hanger system. Meaning that the eye, all of the hook hangers, everything are all one piece. Here's a simple way to make a jig so that you can make them all uniform. Now I've got this already drilled. This is a pre-drilled hole for the nose. And then this is where the, the bottom hook hanger is. And then I'm just going to leave the, the back end dangle because we need to put a little whirly gig on it. Start out with a piece of wire, like so. And the diameter of the wire and the type of wire depends on the type of lure you're making. The whopper plopper is a not going to need to be tuned and the tail has to be real strong so I'm using stainless. Now what I've done, this is just a peg, a peg, I've already bent this one. And then I'm putting another peg here. What that'll do is allow me to crank this around like so. And I'll take out this peg and kind of overbend this a little. And I can put On the other side, and then I'm going to bend that around like so, and I'm going to just have to straighten it up a little bit and get it centered. There's the basis for my hook hanger. Now after making sure that my hook hanger system is real straight, relatively true, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can tweak it a little afterwards. For this particular one I need the shaft to come out in the center. Now I've made myself a mold uh, using just a pipe as a form and a, and a cylindrical shape and I've got a slot cut inside the mold. I took a razor knife and just made a little slot to accommodate the the bottom hook hanger. And I'm going to just push that in. My hook hanger's in place. And this is just about ready to pour. And now what I'm doing is mixing up a little bit of a lumilite white super plastic and I'm going to make something called a slush mold which is just a skin. I'm making the, the skin. In order to make this kind of stick to the inside of the mold a little better than it would all by itself I'm going to add some micro balloons. This is just to, to thicken it up a bit and it will also make it a little bit more buoyant which is fine because we're making a surface lure. I'm just going to mix this up. I've got to be kind of quick with this. Dab of black dye. This. I'm stirring this kind of extra long because I'm going to, as you'll see, have to rotate this in the mold. And the closer I get it to setting up, the less rotation time I need. But you don't want to push it. I can just feel it starting to get a little bit warm. Pour it in here. I don't need too much. And the little cap that I cut that just fits inside here. That. I'm going to turn this on its side and just go like this. You 
see the shaft isn't perfectly straight, but I'll straighten that later. And I also like to have a little bit thicker head on these things, so I'm gonna at the end of my rotation here, I'm gonna sort of turn it like this and let it let it set up vertically. Now I'm gonna wait until this achieves rigidity, which will only be, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And when it achieves rigidity, then we go on to the next step. Alright, my skin is set up, and I'm just gonna pop my centering cap here. A little bit. Now what I'm going to do is mix up some 610 foam. Now this stuff expands at about a 10 to 1 ratio, so I only need about a tenth of the volume of this main body. So I only need just a little bit. going to let it just foam out of there. I could use this cap, but you'll see it sets up hard enough so it, it's real easy for me to uh, trim it. This cap is kind of nice to center the, the whole operation, but we'll just see how much excess we have before we, before we do that. This does is kind of recenters it for me. Now my foam is hardened very nicely. And all I have to do is pull it out of the mold. Just a little bit of cleanup around the hook hangers, which I can almost do with my fingernails. And I've got a little hole here, and as you can see, hard as a rock. And now at the back end of it, I'm just going to take a, a fillet knife and cut all the way around it. few hours this will get even even harder and it's actually strong enough to fish with just like this slide that off and you can see foam on the inside hard resin on the outside and all I have to do is slip my tail section over, and I'll have a lure. Now, obviously, any kind of a lure you wanted to make, it wouldn't have to be a prop bait. I could make a zigzag bait, I could make a popping bait, any kind you want, using the same slush mold process. It gives you a Class A exterior with a foam interior.